So this is it. This is the long-awaited proposal video. But before we dive into the deep end, I want to talk about the journey that is our relationship and the proposal itself. I had a bunch of different ideas and they all kind of fell through. The only thing that I knew is that I couldn't do it on Disney property because on multiple occasions she's told me that if I did it anywhere there she would say NO GOD! NO GOD PLEASE NO! We both did the Disney college program in 2014 where we met here. We worked at this ride. and that right. After the program, I went home for about a year or so, and then I decided to come back to Florida. Since then, it's been five years of love, growth, and happiness. Five years of dancing, of concerts, of terrible jokes. What was the joke, honey? I'm not sure which flavor is better. <laughs> Pranks. Rico. What the fuck is wrong with you? And so much more. But back to the proposal. I had this idea of documenting the whole proposal process. At first, I was going to do it in September of 2018 when all of our best friends were in the area. But that also didn't work. So I decided to propose in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Her favorite city. Right about here. Yeah. The week before that, I decided to compile a little list of people who I should call to tell them I was going to do this, to ask for their blessing, and all of this traditional stuff. I called Miller and Marge, her dad and her stepmom. Hi, Miller. Hi, Miller. What you doing? Uh, just watching a YouTube special on the First World War. Well, sorry to bother you. You're not. What's up? Is Marge with you? She's downstairs. She's downstairs. Can you guys get together and get on speaker? Sure. Wants to talk to us? We're here. Hi, Marge. So, I just have a question for you guys. Okay. So, Libby and I have been together for just under five years. I just want to ask for you guys' blessing to ask her hand in marriage. I called Tony, her mom, but she ended up not answering. Please leave your message. I called her sister Emily. Hello. Hi, what's going on? I'm already crying. Tell me, what do you mean it's that time? Be specific. It's the time where we talk about me marrying your lip. <laughs> so, so is this a, a, a cry of approval? Emmy. I just can't believe the next time I see her, she's going to be engaged. Like, we love you. Oh, you know? thank you. You've, you've, you've just fit so well into our nuttiness. I think that your personality and lips just mesh really well. You vibe really well. I really like, love it. And you're sweet and kind. And I just love you. <laughs> and the kids just love you guys too so much. Like your Uncle Nathan, and that's really nice. And her best friend, Allie. I've been waiting for this call. <laughs> Hi, Allie. You already know what's coming. Stop, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Almost like Nathan asked for your number and I just immediately started crying because it was like a couple weeks ago. She was like, I'm hoping he does it whenever we come up to visit, blah, blah, blah. And <gasps> your baby's birthday is gonna be the day that we get engaged. Oh God, I mean, that's like wonderful. <laughs> I even went so far as to ask the cats for their permission. Felix, stay silent if I can marry mom. Nice. Stay that distance and silent if I can marry mom. Nice. A week later, we finally went on our Pittsburgh trip. Long story short, we went to Randyland where we took some good pictures. I was attacked by a random cat. We explored the city some more, and we eventually ended up on Mount Washington, where I did this. I have to admit, I regret not miking myself up so we could hear our reactions. But there's a part of me that doesn't mind it one bit. Because it just means that this moment was our moment. 
Nobody will know what was said except for us. But if you need to know, I said something along the lines of, I know you've been waiting for this, but I wanted to wait for the right time. I wanted to take you to your favorite city to do some of your favorite things and even say yes to marrying your favorite person. So I got down on one knee and said, Olivia Pearl Oppie, will you marry me? And that's the story. So come September 2020, we'll be married. <laughs>